just gotta start by showing my eyes. Are they good? Am I good? So, God, fucking someone painted a curve right next to me. Oh. So, white privilege. Does it exist? Maybe. Does it exist for all white people? No, it does not. I got no privilege growing up because I was white. It was abs- a- actually it was the opposite. I had to. If you're white in the neighborhoods I grew up in, you're you're gonna have to fight. You know, there's just no way around it. You gotta prove to yourself. You gotta prove. You know, there could be a Asian dude, Samoan dude, black dude, Filipino dude, and uh, he'll get a pass. But the white dude, nah, the white dude got to fight. Raised a lot of down-ass white boys in Spring Valley, though. I'll tell you that right now. So, fast forward to another opportunity to get white privilege. Um, I catch an assault charge. Just got in a fight with the dude. He lost pretty bad. You know, he was throwing gang signs, acting tough, and then he gets on the stand and starts babbling like a little baby. So, they offer me, the DA offers me probation and a strike, a felony strike. And um, my lawyer said, nah, you don't want that on your record. You don't want that on your record. You got to take this to trial. We'll get you, we'll get you something better than that. Well... What I didn't realize is my lawyer was a dump truck and they did not feel bad for me because I was white. My first adult charge, I got a county bullet and a felony strike from the judge. And I, my lawyer tried to, oh, they were going to give him probation. And the judge said, well, you should have took it. Got to make an example, he said. This kid's a thug, he said. But anyway, that was my white privilege. I've I've never seen it. My kids are half white, half Mexican, and I've seen them get way more opportunities than um, than I got. And yeah, I I know what you're saying. I know what you're thinking. Or I know what you're going to comment and say, oh, but if you would have acted like white or ran with white people you would have probably got some of that um, white privilege but that's that's just not realistic that's not how it works you grow up with who you grow up with and that's who you hang around with that's why this whole you know this YouTube thing where white bloods and white crips are like unicorns or something man Dude, they were running the 90s, man. And they were down ass. They were down ass about those, those, those white gang members. They had to be, man. They had to be to roll with those dudes. But it wasn't like a no. You know, like, oh my gosh. There's Stanley, the white blood. <laughs> you, just, you know, you just. Uh, Stanley the blood, you know. You could live on one side of the street or the other side of the street and end up completely different. I've seen it happen, you know? Some kids, they they roll square and they go to college, they do all the stuff that you should have done, you know? And then some of us, we roll with the knuckleheads, end up a knucklehead. You know, end up in construction, selling drugs or something. It's a path we chose. No, there's no crying about it. It is what it is. You know, just got to get your mind right. 
you know, no feeling sorry for yourself. Because I don't feel sorry for myself at all. I'm, every decision I've made, good or bad, I've had to deal with, and I'm still dealing with. So, you know, that white privilege thing. Oh, man. I'm calling shenanigans on that. And white gang members just come to San Diego, man. You want to see white gang members, you, you see gang of white bloods, gang of white cribs. But the only problem is you don't know what they look like, you know? Shoot, back in the day, gang, gang members had like a uniform. <laughs> you knew what they were, man. Now, I don't know, I think they, they all look like skaters. But they got a Glock in their back pocket. <laughs> Los Vemos. <laughs>